Bounce to the left side. Horner over to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Turner racing over to make the catch. Back at Yankee Stadium, digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Byron Buxton. Seattle, the center fielder, number 25. Byron the big lefty turns, Buxton. kicks, deals. No, and there's a the ball. Next offering is down low. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. 2-0. And downstairs. And a strike. And a pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. And the pitch. And there's ball four. Nope. I don't think you really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Alejandro Kirk up next for the Mariners. Alejandro. First offering misses the mark. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit Buxton on at first nobody out check on the runner Buxton back in there The next offering misses, and it's two and one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. The pitch. In the air, left field. Hernandez sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Justin Turner now. That is it. The third baseman, Justin Turner. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that ball is gone. Justin Turner takes in deep. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. This is Kyle Lewis. Batting seven. The designated hitter. Kyle. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. The 0-1. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past it. Jorge right Mateo now. Jorge Mateo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The lefty to 1 0. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He circles the bases, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Base is empty with two away. Here's that Garrett Hampson. The second baseman, Garrett Hampson. 
Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Two outs. That one misses. And one and one. Hawaii to kick the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. And now the lefty. Out to short. Seeger gloves it. And he saved it first. A couple of hits in a row for him here. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Nico Horner. First offering is fouled off. The pitch. Squirts away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Ball to strike. Run around the goal. Pitch in for a strike. And safe. It's a stolen base. Runner leads away at second. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 2 2. Swing and a ball popped up. And that's a base hit. Hampson around third. He will score. And it's 4 0. Well done. Drives in the run. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. This one in the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. one out to short Seeger collects it sends it to first Ryan out of the play and that is that Back now in the Bronx. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. The leading off for the Yankees. The designated hitter. Giancarlo. The wind in the Dead pitch. Ten. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Buxton settles underneath it. And out number one on the grab. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. Batting fit. Not shortstop. Corey. Seager. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swing and a line drive caught. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And it's fouled away. And now the 1. There's the strike. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Next pitch misses. And the count 1 and 2. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And down on strikes. Inning over. All set for the start of the inning. And now for Seattle, Ty France. Leading off for Seattle, the first baseman, Ty. The pitch. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0.
Right. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. And it is two and one. That one in for a strike, two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two, two now. Got him. And that's the first out. Here's Byron Buxton. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep in the counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. And now it's even up. Hernandez gliding back no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's two down just pulled off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying now closed that, if he does country. that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left and first offering is fouled off Two down, nobody on. Strike two. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. The swing and a soft liner. And it drops in. And that extends the inning. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there. Or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Here's Turner now. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. And he deals. And that one missing low. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, a head 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Swings and misses. Two balls and a strike. At the belt and fires. To third, Davis picks it up, gets it to first, and the inning is over. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third, and stepping in for the Yankees, Yadiel Hernandez. And here it comes. There's the strike. Righty to the plate. Gets under and pops it up. Horner makes the grab. One up, one down. Now it's J.D. Davis. Batting it. The third baseman. J.D. Davis. Excuse me, miss. Like, what's your name? How about we just tone it down? Then go back to where you came from. I ain't gotta prove nothing now. One idea worth a hundred thousand. So that's about to budget. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Out towards left center. Bryant puts it away, two away. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for New York, Brad Miller. Kind of a throwback. 
No batting gloves. On the ground to third. And he grabs it. Foul. Next offering is foul back. Time asked for it to play. Maybe an attempt to break up the rhythm that he's got going on the mound right now. Kicks and deals. The punch out there. A good work. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's the Mariners DH. Kyle Lewis. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Next offering upstairs. Bounced up the middle and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and now took it back where it came from. And base. there was just no one there Garrett. to knock it down. Hampson. And here is Garrett Hampson. First time up, he reached on a bunt single. Singy, four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. Liner caught it second. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two when I walked now into the store the next day and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a <laughs> great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. Nico Horner stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Cabrera with a move to first. In there safely. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Kicks and fires. This one in the air right field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. For the Yankees. The center fielder, Cedric Gilbert, back to work. Base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Now he turns and heads for second. Well, he thought about two, but he's back to first safely. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Aaron Judge at the plate. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and part of the order coming up right behind him. This is where they need to get going. Next one misses, and now 2 0. Oh. Mullins gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And now two balls and a strike. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Pick off loop to first, and he's back in safely. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul.
2 2 down. Next offering is outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Runner on the goal. Strike in there. Throw to second and great jump. Anthony Rizzo steps now to the plate. First baseman, Anthony Rizzo. In there for strike one. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Next pitch is downstairs. Runner at second here, one gone. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Pretty tough for the infielders no to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Foul ball there. Timeout asked for and given at the plate now. Oh and two now. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away. Runners hold tight. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. That Whoa, one just right misses. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Here's a 2-2. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's two down. Seeger stands in now. Seeger. Next offering is down low. One and oh. And the righty deals. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Turner makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back in the Bronx, ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Chris Bryant now. Seattle, the left fielder, number 23, Chris Bryant. And a pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Foul ball. Drops into the glove. And a quick out number one. And here's the first baseman. The first Ty baseman, France. Number 23. Ty France. On the ground to third. Throws across the diamond. And a couple of quick outs. Here's a big power threat. Byron Buxton. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports. Basketball, football. You feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way of making contact with that one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. The next pitch misses, and a count one and two. And down on strikes he goes, and that will end the inning. Back for more from the Bronx. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now it's William Contreras. The catcher, William. 
The right hander back to work. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Ooh, buy it. You gotta remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the, the second fielder, time today. Down. Here's the left fielder, Yadiel Hernandez. In there, and it's 0-1. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Bryant on the move and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. So digging in, J.D. Davis. Now Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. David. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Back at Yankee Stadium, all set for the top of the sixth. Now the Mariners catcher, Alejandro Kirk. The catcher, Alejandro Cabrera. Back to work. Line drive. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Here's Justin Turner. Now that the third baseman, Justin Turner. First pitch, just misses. The 1-0. And yeah, that's outside. No, that pitch not even close. A 2-0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. At the belt and fires. Way inside, and that hit him. No, Boog, I'll tell you firsthand, retired players, we miss a lot of things about playing the game yeah, in our playing it. days, but getting drilled by a pitch like that oh. usually isn't something Lewis. we talk about. Kyle Lewis up next for the Mariners. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And now the lefty. So two balls and no strikes. The pitch. That's through there for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Rizzo settles underneath it. And there's two away. Jorge Mateo up next like for the Mariners. Jorge Mateo. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There it was, 0 0. Here it is, hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. Two outs. Now 1 and 1. And the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Mullins racing over to make the catch. Back here in New York, bottom of the six. Brad Miller now. Leading off for the Yankees. The second baseman, Brad 
And a pitch. Miller. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Now he steps out as time is granted. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out and one away. Back to the top of the now Yankee back. order. Next to hit, Cedric Mullins. Cedric. And he's already singled in this game. And that's in there for strike one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Towards first. Takes it himself. Two up, two down. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the now floor. Right field. Aaron. Time call. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Ball in one now. Just off the outside edge. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. The one two. And the one two misses to even the count. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Pulled down the line, this one hammered, but it's foul. Oh, good solid contact right there just a bit out in front of that fastball got to try to stay on that backside just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage next pitch is popped up France under it makes the grab and that's the inning We go to the top of the seventh. Here's a speed threat. Garrett Hampson. The, Mariners, the second baseman. Garrett Hampson. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the game. Number 34. J.P. Fire eyes head. Back Pitching now as it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off. Two, Jazz Chisholm. Jazz Chisholm. Pinch hitting for the Mariners. Number two, Jazz. The pitch. Chisholm. And he hits a ground ball right side. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Now at the plate, Nico Horner. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And here it comes. Rolled over to third. Davis with the throw to first. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Chris Bryant now at the plate. The left unit, number 23. Chris Bryant. That one fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Close, but called a ball. And now it's even one and one.
Right handed reliever. And now two and one. One out and a runner at second. Two one now. Good eye right there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. That one the other way. He's got it. There's two away. And stepping in for the Mariners, Ty France. The first good contact guy, good defender. Ty France. Just a slow ground ball this time. And he grabs it in foul ground. The pitch. Mullins moving in on this one. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, bottom of the inning. And now, Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman. The Yankees Anthony. looking to rally. Rizzo. The pitch. Swings through that one. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage, over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Kicks and deals. And there's a foul ball. Left hand batter waits. Stays alive. And a pitch. To the right side. Chisholm handles. Gathers and throws to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. The batter, the dedicated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch, and he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Time called. Chance to collect himself down 0-2. Next offering upstairs. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Next pitch misses way outside. On the ground, out to short. That's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull five. hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found the hole that time. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. So now it's Corey Seager in there for strike one. Stanton, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And he deals. Ground ball could be two. To second, there's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Yeah. Welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. Stepping in the long ball threat, Byron the Buxton. The center fielder, number 25, Byron Buxton. The pitch. 
This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Next pitch misses outside, and it's one and one. Kicks and fires. That one misses, and a count two and one. I got two on the count. And a pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the New York Number three, please. Now here is Alejandro Kirk in there in its own one. Back to the mound. Steps on the bag for one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. Good 6 3 double play right there. Takes it himself. And it's a nice job. We work closer to getting out of this inning. Justin Turner stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is fouled back. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Contreras collects, fires the first, and it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Back at Yankee Stadium, out of the bottom of the eighth, and now the catcher comes up to him. William Contreras. The catcher. William. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. He's hitting for the Yankees. Number eight. Nick. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Nick Castellanos. Number eight. Nick. The pitch. Tough day, no, no. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. So out of the bullpen for the Mariners, Darwin's in Hernandez. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Pinch hitting for the game. Number 22. Louis. Torres. Pinch hitting at the, the play. Luis Torres. Number 22. Louis. Torres. That one's in there on one. At the belt and fires. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And a pitch. Nope. And takes low for ball one. Castellanos gets his lead at first with nobody out. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next offering is foul back. Throw to first. Castellanos dives back in safely. A one two. That's inside. Yeah. 
And the pitch. Got him. And one out now. Now it's JD Davis. Third baseman. JD Davis. First offering and it just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one is off the play. Two and one. And a swing and a miss. The pitch. Swings and misses. Now two away. And at first, and the batter now, Brad Miller. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Your attention, please. He's hitting for the game. Number 30, Kyle Garland. And now it's Kyle Garland. Number 30, Kyle Garland. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. And the lefty with the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Here comes a pinch. And down on strikes. Out number three. I made up my mind to take a better stay. Concentrate in my balance, give life a better chance. We go to the ninth, and now for Seattle, Kyle Lewis. Leading off with the Mariners, the designated hitter, Kyle. The wind of the pitch. Lewis. And that one is in for a strike. Just missed. That one pushed foul. And now the lefty. Seeger handles the chance. On the run, sends it over to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Jorge Mateo getting ready to hit. He's already homered in this game. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Deal one. And a swing and a miss. Well, he homered earlier in the game, but showing no fear on the mound so far in this at bat. He's just attacking the strike zone. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's out number two. Jazz Chisholm now. Have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. Well, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Two outs. Swing and a tap for the rolls foul. Tap back to the mound. And there's a hit. And the unit continues with the pitcher spot up next. 
Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just Nico. shot it through the infield. Nico. Nico Horner up next for the Mariners. In the dirt. And no movement on the bases. It's ball one. Line drive, and that's a base hit. So that's two straight, two out hits. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. The left Down the number, number two hitter, Chris Bryant. Chris. Bryant. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now pitching for the New York Yankees. Number 17, Jay Mudge. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. And yeah, there's a ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Gonzalez picks it up over to first. Ryan out of the play. That ends the frame. Bottom nine. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Cedric Mullins. Leading off for the Yankees. The center fielder, Cedric Mullins. The pitch. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Quarter infielders playing in. Yo one. Ball one there. The one one. That's a strike. And now before the one two, time is called at home plate. Kicks and deals. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now batting. Right so field. man aboard. Aaron. Here comes Aaron Judge. Judge. New pitcher for the Mariners, Jorge Lopez. And he'll work on holding this lead. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And Judge spoils that one. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back to back singles. Fastball the pretty much middle, middle middle, and that's Anthony. what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. And here is Anthony Rizzo. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Left hand hitter waits. Mullins on second. Judge at first with no outs. That one not close. And the count is one and two. On the ground, two ball. And it's through for a hit. And he can't come up with it. He decides to eat it, and he reaches safely. The run scores from second. They're on the board, 4-1. Goes to third, but he beats it. And everyone's safe. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. The batter, the designated hitter, Giancarlo. 
First pitch, and he just misses. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. And there's the strike. Well, notice they've been pitching him hard inside, and the key is if you're going to make a mistake, you've got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, we'll be asking for a new baseball. 1-1 one, one now. And that one off the outside edge. No outs. Runners at first and third. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. France brings it in, and there's one away. Two on, one out. Now it's Corey number Seager. Number five, shortstop, Corey Seager. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot. Righty delivers. That's off the mark, and it's two and one. First and third, one down. Next pitch is inside, and that's ball three. And here it comes. There's the swing and a miss. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. And the tying run is on base. Oh, very close with the location right there. It's just tough to get rewarded on the call when pitches near the top of the strike zone. He's two outs away. Nick Castellanos stepping in now for the Yankees. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Tying run is at first. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Right-handed reliever off the catcher and rolls away. And in comes the run from third on the pass ball. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. The one-two. Smoked on the ground a second. The throw to first. Now two away as they get a run across. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. Torrens up to bat next, lays off for a ball. And the 1 0. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The 2 0 is in for a strike. The 2 1. Well, they're applying pressure, quality at bats, quality swings right now, and see this offense doing it one man to the next, showing a lot of fight right now. They're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. So now with one swing, this guy can end it. And that one a little bit high. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Swing and a pop-up. Corner settles under this one. He's got it. Ball game. And the Mariners strand the tying run on base to win it. 4-3 our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire 